everyone, welcome to this week's episode. I am super excited about today's topic, as I am with all organizing topics, let's be honest. But today's topic is one in particular that kind of can, not everyone's on board with, so there's a little bit of controversy with it, and that is decanting taking items out of their packaging and putting them into other containers to keep them organized. And I am a huge fan of this. And I'm gonna tell you why and why it works and how it will set you up for long-term success. So first and foremost, what it does is it allows you to see everything. When you have clear canisters and food is stored in them, you know what's left. It's effortless when you open up that pantry and you see what's there, deciding if you need to buy more or not, rather than taking out the package, opening it up, and then checking. Now, some would argue that, okay, it doesn't take that long to do, but think about that over time, how that kind of builds up and that just, it's those small little things that add up that can just take away your time. And I'm all about efficiency and making things run smoothly. And clear canisters do that, they let you know what you have left so you're not buying duplicates. Let's be honest, there's nothing more frustrating than buying duplicates. You get home, you're like, oh my gosh, I already had this. So that's why the canisters, they work. Now, the other thing that I wanna talk about is picking out the right canisters, also very important because there's a handful of brands that are out there and we'll discuss through them, but making sure they're airtight and of good quality because it, you do not wanna be purchasing something where your food's gonna go stale or they don't look good or you don't like them. All of it has to work together. And you, might, you will have a little bit of upfront work to do when you initially get this started because it will take a little bit of time, but once, you're, once you have it established, then you're good to go. And that's what my goal is, has always been is to let's get a good system in place, good, foundation so you're ready to go like you wouldn't just build a start building a house with the roof like you gotta have solid foundation and that's what a pantry is to to me is that you have to have a good solid foundation and using clear canisters and decanting items will help you achieve that so we're going to get into it and i'm going to walk you through the different canisters that are out there that you can use to transform your pantry Okay, so first up here are the OXO food canisters. These are very popular and for multiple reasons is they look great. They have, they're very sleek. They have a nice design to them with a white, crisp, clean top. So it just really brightens up the space in a pantry and it just is very aesthetically appealing and just looks beautiful. Another thing that's great about them is that these food canisters can stack. So you can see there on the right hand side, there is enough space for us to stack them and still be able to slide them in and out without them moving all around. These food canisters really work great almost in any pantry, regardless of whatever type of design it is, if you just have plain shelves or roll out drawers, because they add more space because they're vertical. And that's what you wanna think about when you are establishing your pantry with a good base is how can I go vertical? And you can easily accomplish this with these OXO branded food canisters because they are tall and they come in a variety of sizes that you know allow you to mix and match and buy based on how often you use items. You know, if you're going to be using you know, sugar and flour for the larger ones and then not as frequent for the powdered sugar, et cetera, whatever it may be, but you wanna buy it based on kind of the size of the, the food that you're storing in there and the canister itself. And on the OXO branded website, they have a great guide on there that will help you determine which size is needed for what type of packaging that you're looking for. Okay, up next are these graphite food canister sets from the Container Store. It's exclusively sold there. It comes in a set of five for $29.99, which is a very affordable price point when it comes to food canisters. And they come in two different colors as well. So there's a black and a white. Obviously here we've got the black and then the three different sizes. So large, medium, and small. And then again, they are designed to stack. So the smaller ones that you can see there in that second row 
uh, stack very nicely together. There would be ro ro room if you put where the serial ones are, you could stack some smaller ones on top of there as well. Or even if you kind of reverse the top and the bottom row and could stack up there if you're looking to create more space. But again, you take a overall look at all of this and you see how nice and cohesive this is. It's very symmetrical. Our brains love that. And just think about if it was still in all their food packaging, it would have a very cluttered look and feel and be hard to identify what was needed quickly. Another thing on the food canisters here that I do want to point out are the glass canisters that are next, right next to it too have that nice black lid that matches nicely with the other ones, so it ties everything in together. So again, as you see, the initial setup for this, yes, will take a little bit of time, but once it's done, you know, you're know you ready to go. Once that pasta container is empty, then you just refill the pasta one. You're not gonna empty, likely, the same pasta and cereal containers at the same time. So you'll see that you'll reap the the benefits of decanting and getting everything set up to have a good established lasting system. Okay, so up next here, we have some food canisters that are not completely clear. And I wanted to include these for a reason so you can see what they are. So first and foremost, it is the Tupperware branded containers. So you know that this is a very good, reliable, solid, airtight, Con container that will keep items fresh. But what's unique here about these canisters is that they're not completely solid. They have a little clear front at the, on them that gives you an idea of how much is left. So you'll see once you get down to the last remnants of it all, you're gonna be able to tell because it has that little, it's like a door opening or like even a, a gas gauge. Just you're able to peek in there rather than having to take the entire canister out, open it up and see what's left. So that's what's nice and unique about these. And then again, you've got the OXO branded food canisters right there that tie in nicely with it because it's got the white lid and clear so you can see everything. And then again, they stack. So the ones on the top, smaller items stack neatly and we put those up there because we don't use them as often. So just a different layout and type. Again, it comes down to your style and preference. And when you're picking out, food containers for your staple items in your pantries, you really wanna like what you look at because you're going to be looking at it often. So choose wisely when you're making those selections. If it brings you joy, if it makes you happy, then you know that's your winner. So now it's time for you to go and get organized. Thank you for tuning in for this week's episode. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on social at Organize Marie.